Okay, that was weird, but you know it's starting recording now. Um, hello, YouTube, and around or wherever you're watching this video from. Uh, I'm basically going to show you how to get a Windows 7 theme for Vista. Now, for the best, for it to turn out the best, you're going to want Home Premium, um, Ultimate Business. Basics got not got the Aero, so it won't look as good, but it should be okay. But anyway, um, you're going to want to download the from this link. You want to download the files from the link. Uh, click that download. It should download in a WinRAR file, and you'll eventually end up with a folder like that that's inside it. Okay, so I'm just going to move that to the side. Um, when you've downloaded downloaded that. You're going to want Vista Glass, which is the link will be in the description also, and this is what it'll be like when you run it. Now, what this won't have a tick in it, so what you're going to do, you're going to click it, and you're going to patch the files. It'll say patch files there, not on patch, but I've already patched it. And then it'll ask you to restart. Restart. When it's done, um. And that's basically really it. Then you can download any themes you want to, but I like this Windows 7 theme because um, I haven't had any trouble with it. See this bit that's fixable, don't worry, I'm not bothered about it at the minute. So, when you've done that, you want to go to the computer. when it comes on anyway so about the way it's because I'm recording and it goes slow when I record okay you want to go into your main hard drive which it, mine is SW preload Right, then you're gonna go wanna go on Windows <coughs> and then you wanna go into resources. I just click on in fold and press R. No not registration, resources, sorry my mistake. There it is resources. When my computer decides to not die on me while making a video, which is rather annoying okay um, then you'll get a themes folder now what you want to do as you can see I've got a few themes <laughs> click on your Windows 7 theme um, wait for it to come up there's a little preview read me but I'm gonna help you so you don't need that okay so click on Windows 7 and you should have ENUS shell wallpaper and Windows 7. So that's the folder you need. Just make it bigger for you. So these two, Windows 7, both the Windows 7 files, you want to drag them into the themes folder, but I've already done it. As you can see, Windows 7 and Windows 7. Right, so they're in there. Then you can get rid of that because you won't need it. But, right click on your desktop. Or go on to control panel, blah blah blah. Go on to personalize when it comes up. There you go, personalize. Go on to theme, and basically, it will say Vista, just you have to find the right one. Sometimes, you are, if you are, don't have Aero enabled, you can enable Aero on colour and appearance bit. Now, as you can see I've got square buttons with that text like Windows 7 has. But when you do it you'll have text on it. So to fix that, in here there is a README file for loads of problems that it's got. I think it's in extras, I'm not sure. Um 
There you go. How to fix start button menu. See that one. Um, Iconize your taskbar. I think it's that one. Anyway, if you've got any problems, they're all in there. And what you want to gonna, what you're going to want to do, you're going to start, and you you type R E G E D I T, all one word. So it's reg edit or reg edit, and basically press enter. The nagging window will come up if you haven't got it disabled. And there she is. It's me, Nana. <laughs> uh, when that's done, this will come up. You want to go on. So when it's first normal, it'll be like this. You want to go on to H key current user. So drag drag that down. Then you want to go on control panel. Drag that bit down. Desktop. And then there's Windows metrics, metric, metrics, whatever. And look for what's it called? Min width. Not menu. It has to be M I N width. Right. So min width. Mine's there. If you do not have it, you can create it by pressing right click new and the. I can't remember which one it is, but you can create one, then delete it if it's the wrong one because it has to be a regsz file. If you've already got it, then you change the value to 56 and you're done. And it'll eventually be like this. If it doesn't work, um, don't blame me because that's what it says here. Uh, restart your computer and it should be back to normal. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.